Oi, it is your boy G20, and welcome back to NHL 20 via pro on a PS4. Let's go, man. On the Bruins, we are about to end the regular season. We have six games left. We're going to play four of them today, and we are going to simulate the next two, the one against Detroit and the one against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Now, we left off last video a couple of games ago. We left off, uh, if the schedule could load, there it is. We left off here after the Oilers game. Basically, what happened is I did not score in those two games. We had a very tough time. My my team was just very, very bad. I got pissed. I tweeted about it, and I stayed pissed off and lit up the avalanche for four goals in a period. So that is how we end up at 76 goals on the season. One away from, you know what? I'm not going to say it because last time I was talking about it, I got injured for a year and, and just just a whole lot of stuff happened. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to simulate two games. We're probably going to pass the milestone I'm looking for here in these two games. Assuming we don't get injured. Big dubs against Detroit. And that was a lot of goals. So we probably had at least one in that. And then against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Boom. A win. It's a shootout win. But a win nonetheless. We have 51 on the season. And now our remaining four games of the season are all against our division they are all in our division and we we clinched already but we still want to establish dominance you know over the other teams in our division we have 79 goals in 77 games wow that is incredible uh yeah that's just there's no other words for it this has been a absolutely awesome season i haven't even played every game my character is just that good and two periods in against the buds we are down three to two but it's all good because we're the bruins we have offense we can come back i mean your boys got top a pile of goals so what's one more right let's freaking send it man at scotiabank drop in the puck and it's a it's a great opportunity right off the bat oh my god johnny gaudreau i've been setting him up too for the last couple of games and he's just not finishing Man, like the 35 goal scorer that we knew from NHL 19, actually even 40, I think. He's just gone, man. He's not there anymore. His shot is just not the same. It just isn't. So I tried as, as much as I could to set up Johnny Gaudreau, but I've come to the realization that he just isn't going to be the big goal scorer that I thought he was. Uh, <laughs> of course. Of course, as I say that, he gets one. Oh, God damn it. But he just isn't the same light up score that we're used to seeing 15th on the season for him we have four games left in a regular season i think that speaks for itself what an interesting play that was too somebody face planted i think it was nikita off of a down leaf that was trying to block a shot and we just almost cost our team a goal right there by not controlling that but it's all good we tied the hockey game three to three maybe Gaudreau's just one of those players that doesn't score a whole lot but gets the job done when it really counts you feel me maybe those 15 goals you know, maybe eight of those are game winners. You never know. You never freaking know. I mean, we could just check the stats and find out. But you see, he just doesn't seem to have that same kind of pep to his shot. You know, he doesn't have the same zip to it. Like, obviously, I'm still happy to have him. Like, he's 84 overall. We're only paying him for this year, and then after that, we're done. It's an even game, so we're going to need you to step the fuck off me, sir. I'm not fighting you. Oh, we have a sim goal. Please don't let it be the... Yes, sir. It is not the Leafs. It is your boys. It is now 4-3. to three. We were down 3-2 heading into the third, and here we are with the lead and an offensive zone face-off, so you never know. We might make it a two-goal lead quick, fast right here. Yeah, yeet. Yes, sir. Big one-time Gino is off the face-off. That's what you like to see from Nikita and my boy Johnson. So we are now at 80 goals on this season, and I had a comment saying maybe you should try out for one goal per game, and I wasn't, I wasn't sure about it, but hey, we're on pace now. Oh, my goodness. We just got the puck back again and got set up on a beautiful one-timer. That is Nikita once again making a just perfect pass right on my tape. Look at that. He gets the puck back, turn around, yeets. He knew I was there. Big clobbers. And we are at the back of the net once again. That is 81. So now we have three games left after this one and one goal to score to finish the season at one goal per game. That is pretty incredible. And we're still on Superstar. Like, I didn't change it. You saw it when we came into the game. We're still on Superstar. It's just we're, we're just at this point in our career where we are unstoppable. We are the greatest goal scorer. I think we're the greatest goal scorer of all time. I don't think there's a, there's a de debate about it anymore. You feel me? No one else is scoring like us. Uh, Lionel Fraze has had some pretty darn good seasons, but nothing close to 80. 
you know, nothing close to 70 either. And this is a season where, early on at least, we were really focused on the defensive aspect of the game and just helping our team back there because we just don't have any sort of defenseman, any quality defenseman. We have Johnson, who's 83, and that's it. And with another simulation goal, we are now up 7-3. to three. It's been quite the game so far for the Bruins, even though we were down after two periods. It wasn't looking good, but the comeback gods were with us. Oh, and I, I tried to hit him. Uh, honestly, I missed him. That was just not good. And I, why, am I, why am I playing this aggressive? <laughs> why am I trying to leak early when we're up 7-3? to three? That was just not a good play. It's all good, though, because we're back. There you go. See, now we're playing defense, getting the puck back. And, oh, Lord, I did not want to try to make that pass, but maybe I should, man. The last thing I want is to get a late-season injury. That's going to be the end of the game. We have just massive, gargantuan, huge dubs, but against the Toronto Maple Leafs, 7-3. to three. It was 3-2 when we came into the third. Like, damn. Did I just see Kiefer Bellows? Did I just see Kiefer Bellows? That is huge for the boys. If Bellows is here and we are fully healthy, finally, it's going to be, oh man, it's going to be a great end to the season. There he is, Kiefer Bellows on the second line. That is a sick second line. Bellows with Niemi and Hosang. I'm so happy. Niemi finally has backup on that second unit he has an 85 power forward and he has a playmaker hosang i thought he was a sniper but hey josh hosang still very very high quality player and the emmys have got 64 assists this year like shit son that's more than nikita now nikita scores more goals but that's still you know that says a lot about the quality of player that niemi is all right let's get to the next game against tampa bay I am hyped now with Kiefer Bellows. Like, forget about it, bro. We are chilling. First period against the Lightning. Three to two. Holy offense. All right. That is that is terrifying. But we have... <laughs> Look at my character. Two more goals. Second period. Five to two. We're getting dangerously close to some legends, man. We are... We passed Tamu. The next one up on the all-time, you know, goal scoring for one season list is Mario Lemieux at 85. And after him, I believe... It is Brett Hall at 86, and then Gretzky has 87 and 92. So we are we are up there, man. We're going to need a good end to the season, man. But tying Brett Hall would be absolutely awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Off the face-off, we're going to need to go off ah, forehand. And it just doesn't work as well as my backhand. But that's all the room we had. That's literally the only thing we had. We're going to body check him. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I thought you were onside. My bad. I just hit you for no reason. Like I said, 92 goals is oh, is a bit too much. I probably shouldn't have tipped that. I think that was going in. Or I should have tipped it to the left side. But obviously, I was just trying to skate into position, which caused me to aim it that way. But eh, it is what it is. Shot through traffic doesn't go. I'm going to leak a little bit early here because we're, we're chasing greatness out here. But it's all good. We're going to pass it back at a point because we ran out of room. Slap shot. He tips it in. Nice. That is some basic offense right there, but that works just the same. I think that's Nikita with a tip out in front. Yes, it is. That's his second goal of the evening. 27 for him on the season, which is a great scoring season for Nikita, man. I don't think he's come anywhere near 30 goals previously in his career. So that's good, man. Having a career year over there. We're two away from 85. Mario Lemieux. So that's pretty good, man. That is... Oh, give me that. Give me that. We are out. We are out. We're gonna decat the shit out of him. Let's go. Oh, this guy's on my ass. He is on me, man. He slowed me down so much. I hate that. I hate that. He slows you down just by being there. Oh, give me that. One timer. Oh, we almost got one. Almost. That could have been. We're going to pick that off, and we're going to go all the way back into the neutral zone here so we can have a wide turn. I tried to snipe it across the goaltender, but not quite the best angle for it. It's all good, though. It is all well and fine because we still have a massive lead. No, big hit. Ah, we couldn't quite do it. That's fine. Back at the point. Block shot. Let's go. We still, we still play defense. That's the thing. We're getting all these goals, and we're still playing defense. You know, we're killing penalties. We're doing everything. We're going to win so many. Oh, my God. Did he stop that? I think we he did stop that. Holy shit. All right. I see you, Matthew. That's a pretty nice uh, That's pretty nice save. Down low to me. Yep. We're going to hook around and pass it to the lightning player. All right. That was bad. That was really bad. Maybe I should just focus on goal scoring because clearly that's the thing I do best. Uh, give me that. Nope. I couldn't intercept that either. Maybe I am not good at defense. Oh, let's split these two nerds, though. Oh. Backhander scores! 
Oh, the speed on that play. We barely got there, but barely counts, man. That is goal number 84. Yep, 84 on this season. We are one goal away from Mario Lemieux and two from Brett Hall. What a year. And you know what the most crazy part about all this is? I might actually pass Mario Lemieux and, and get to 85, 86 goals, and still it would not be my highest uh, point scoring season because we had 140, I think, in Edmonton. So that's, that is crazy how that goes. Here comes Johnny. Johnny Gaudreau is going to pass it to me. I'm going to pass it back to Johnny. I have to. That, that was an easy tap in for him. We can't keep that. It wasn't. He had such a higher percentage of scoring that than I did. Can we, can we just snipe one? Can we just snipe it? Oh, no. It's been a while since we've had, like, a, you know, just a walk it down and just snipe it type of goal. Nope. Nope. I'm still here. Six foot three, boy. I'm still... All right. Fair enough. All right. So we're back on the bench, and there are only 40 seconds left in the game. So that's going to end 8 to 2 over the Tampa Bay Lightning. Boston is going in with this healthy lineup. It is... Ooh. Ooh, bud. It's very difficult to stop the Bruins right now. I really like it. I was looking forward to Bellows coming back, and it has not disappointed, man, because now they have to spend resources trying to slow down the second line as well, which opens us up. And if, if they don't, if they just put everything, you know, load up on the first line, then it's all good because the second line is going to tear your ass apart just the same. You feel me? So we have two goals, or two goals, two games left to get two goals if we want to pass Mario Lemieux. But at 84, I'm very happy with the season that we've had. This is what happens when you don't injure me for the entire season, Rammer. All right. First period against Buffalo. No goals. Second period, one nothing. Ya boy! We tied Mario Lemieux in the simulation with 85 goals on the year. Let's not lose sight of the real ultimate goal here, which is the Stanley Cup. And for that, we need wins. We need victories. We need the momentum into the playoffs. We're going to just deke him. Backhander scores! 86 goals we have now passed mario lemieux oh yes fuck yes and just just because i know for a fact somebody is gonna ask okay because this is a lot of goals this has been a great video yes we are still playing on superstar and in the same goal we both pass mario lemieux's season and tie brett hall's season the only one ahead of us now at 87 is Wayne Gretzky, and at 92, once again, Wayne Gretzky, because Gretzky, of course, would have the record twice. That is incredible. We're going to... Oh, son of a bitch. At this point, I might just cheese it, because if we get to 92, it would require so many goals. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think we're going to get to 92, but if we could get to 87, man, that would be pretty good. And we just... Do we have the speed for this one? Oh, I do, but I really got to work on my forehand move. It's crazy to think how one of my moves just... I still need to work on it, and we're beating beating records out here, you know? Drop it to the point because he's even more open. We're going to go to the net. No, don't force passes to me, bro. Do not do not do that. I know I have a lot of goals, but don't, don't do it. Even if I'm chasing records, I don't want anybody to force passes... And turn the pucks over like that. There you go. That's a nice pick. Let's go. Get me up the ice. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Backhander scores once again. 87 goals. Fuck yeah. We just tied the second best goal scoring season in NHL history by your boy, Wayne Gretzky. Buffalo sucks, by the way. They just have allowed so many opportunities for me so far. It's just, uh, yep. The year is 2030, and the Sabres are still garbage. And just as I say that, we have a sim goal. Oh, it's your boys. Boom. <laughs> the Bruins, 4 nothing. We are running the show right now in the NHL. That trade, man, for Goudreau and Bellows has really turned things around. Slap shot. Fuck. We couldn't score that one. Maybe, maybe kick it to me. Johnny. All right, that's fine. That's fine. You can't blame Johnny Goudreau for not winning a puck battle in the corner. The guy's like five foot two. all right? You can't. Like, he's 160 pounds soaking wet. Let's not let's not blame him for losing those battles. Oh, that's a one-on-one -on -one against a defender. Y'all know. Y'all know it's barbecue chicken. Oh, I couldn't bring it back across the goalie. That would have been beautiful. Nope. No, give me that. Oh, terrible pass. That's terrible. Yes, sir. Peter Forsberg. Okay. That would have been the best. I'm sorry. That would have been awesome. If we pass Gretzky on a Peter Forsberg move, that would have been the ultimate, but we couldn't quite do it. All right. That's all good. That's all good. Stick lift. Mm, let's not take a slashing call here, eh? 
Let's not do that. We're going to get this puck, and we need a change, so we're just going to pass it off. Yep, one on two, though. I'm going to wait for some backup, get it, and shoot that. Oh, that's going to be stopped. I really thought I scored, dude. I thought that was going to be a goal, but the new Sabres goalie, because they, they changed goalies after that last one, is making saves. Oh, my God, it's one on three. We're going to, we're going to pass that off. Going to pass it. Hope for something. Ooh, if that produced a rebound to the left, that was mine because I beat and boxed out their defenseman. That would have been nice. Matt Murray's having a, uh, a couple of games right now, eh? He's, he's also playing well. I'm just, I want to throw it out there. I'm scoring all these goals, but Matt Murray's keeping all the teams out of the net, which is good. We're going to need that in the playoffs, and if he keeps that up, we're going to be in business. I'm going to get hit trying to split the defense here for another breakaway. Couldn't quite happen. I'm trying to pick up this puck. Yes, I do. Johnny Gaudreau can't control it. Ah, oh, son of a gun. We almost had another one. Yeet, way up there, though. I see you, bro. I see you still. He's going to drop it to me. No, he's not. Yes, he is. One-timer. Huge save. Holy moly. Back down low to the corner because he's open. I'm going to get it. Oh. Open shot and be stopped. All right, maybe that guy is their starter. Maybe uh, the other goalie that we roasted earlier was their backup because this one is playing a lot better. Big hit. Get crunched. Let's get it. It's going to be the end of the game, though. If they put him in a little bit earlier, we might not have had 86 goals, though, so I'm not even mad about it. Huge jobs, bud, for the Sabres. Big shutout for Matt Murray. I don't want him to get, uh, you know, lost in the story, but... He did get a shutout, which is good because we've been begging and pleading for some good goaltending. And it looks like we're finally getting it. Nikita also getting two apples on the night. Your boy with a hat trick, one in the simulation. We're having a great season. Can we take sole possession of the second highest goal scoring season of all time with one goal in this one? Game number 82 of the season. Apparently, I missed one game, so that could be interesting here if we end up with, like, 90 goals or whatever. Ah, that sucks, but let's go. Simulate the first two periods against Detroit. First period, and your boy didn't score. We're down 2 nothing actually. In second period, it's now 3-2. to two. Oh, I scored in the simulation. 88 goals on the year. We now have the second highest goal scoring season of all time. But with 88, ah, we're four goals away. Four goals away from from tying. I don't think it's going to happen. But ah, it's just the fact that we're close is awesome. And this ain't even stat padding. We need these goals here down by, oh, down by one. Nice deke. We're coming in. Backhander off the post. No, we hit the fucking post. Don't, don't cut inside. Do not do that. That's a bad idea. Give me that. Yes, sir. We out. We out. Oh, fuck. Just not a lot of room for it. Don't shoot that! Oh, another save! God damn it! Do not fuck me now. I'm gonna go down low around the boards. See if we can pressure him. Okay, our team decided not to pressure him. Tap in! Oh, son of a gun. They played some good defense on that. That was gonna be the game time goal right there. Oh, we're gonna go five on three power play opportunity. Oh, one timer right off the bat. Not for me, but we still got a one timer out of it. And you see Gaudreau not really getting those really hard shots off like like we've seen him do before in previous um, previous games and previous seasons. Um, let's just let's just get open one timer. Oh my goodness. We are Ovechkining the fuck out of this power play. I do not care. It's a five on three. It's not like we really need to move that much. We just need to move a little bit to open up some seams. And he's going to pass it to me a little bit too late for my liking. And that causes us to fuck it up. Not going to lie. Going to go to the net, though. All right. Let's go back at the point. Let's... Oh, man. If he went off the boards, I had I had the next pass, man. It was going to be a one-timer. Let's go. We're going to stop. We're going to roll. There you go. Just reset. Boom. Up the ice. Solid play. Oh, my God, guys. Stop. Just stop giving it to the other team. For God's sakes, there's only three of them out there. There has to be somebody that's not wearing a red jersey that's open. Like, Jesus, fuck. Give me the puck. Give me the puck. That's enough. Oh, they're skating forwards. Bad move. Bad move. Can we get it? Backhander scores! Number 89! We are one away from 90. That would be interesting. That would be nice. We're definitely not getting 92 anymore, but we tie the game on the power play. 90 would be a nice round number to get, and we would only be trailing the all-time record by two with, realistically, only 81 games played. So that would be a very interesting conversation as we make a beautiful pass to Gaudreau. He can't finish it, though, because my pass was a little bit late, but that's because I got bumped. 
Ah, that would have been a great opportunity, but we need one more here in this game. We might actually get lucky and go to overtime if we can't score it in three periods. Yeah, 144 left, so we're going to have another chance in overtime. Now, notoriously, the Bruins have been very bad in overtime. Well, my Bruins have been very bad in overtime this season, so... Let's try to avoid that happening. Let's just win in the regulation because I don't feel like we can win in overtime with this team. Not three on three overtime. We can't intercept that either. The Red Wings with a solid passing play off the end boards. Oh, yes, sir. Your boy's going to get it uh, right into the... What? Oh, Rammer, you got to give me that, man. Oh, I just charged the guy. Fuck me. Please don't be hurt. Please don't be hurt. If I'm tossed from the game, I'm going to be pissed. I'm not. Thank goodness. Please don't score Detroit. Don't do it. Don't do it. That would suck. We already have the second highest, you know, goal scoring season in history. But I want 90, damn it. I want 90 because it'd be nice and round. You feel me? But it's all good. All right. Four on three. We're going to get back on the ice. And at least it's going to be four on four. So maybe our defense is not going to be a total fucking disaster. Is the hope anyway. But we get back on the ice and we'll see. Boom. Off me. Oh, nice pass. That's going to open us up. We're going to, we got to make the smart play though. And of course, it's going to be picked off by the Red Wings. It's all good though. Oh, we almost got that off the boards. Almost doesn't count. The Red Wings are going to bail from that play. Maybe they were changing? I don't know why they just decided to bail. Oh shit, maybe because we suck at breaking out. Maybe that's why. As they control the puck in their offensive zone. We're going to, oh my god. We just let him walk right in. What are we doing? What was that? This is what I mean, man. Our, our team just drops a collective, like, 6,000 IQ when we fucking... Oh, can we beat him? Please, big save. God damn it. Multiple IQ points just down the drain every time we go to overtime. I hope I hope to God this is this won't be the case if we end up going to, um, to playoff overtime in 5-on-5. Five five, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just the team's not good at 4-on-4. Are you fucking joking? I just tripped the guy. I thought... Okay. That is... That is rare, man. I don't typically trip guys, but I just did it right there. So we kind of fucked ourselves out of 90, if I'm being honest. Ah, oh, man. Okay. We just barely got him, too. Like, barely got the tip of his skate blade. But it is a trip. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sit here and act like it wasn't. So we're not gonna get 90. As a matter of fact, we might actually lose this game because of me. Which would suck. Would really suck. Okay, no, we didn't. We're going to go to overtime. Not overtime. Shootout. Couldn't score 90 goals, but yo, 89. Still a wonderful season. And we're going to end the year with a freaking shootout. I just, I can't. I just can't even. That is such a nice historic season ended by the shootout. Because Rammer has to get one on me regardless of, uh, of how good. I've been playing the game. You feel me? So, and of course I couldn't even score on the shootout. All right, because I'm just having, just having a bad game. Gonna be perfectly honest, but it's cool. Hopefully our team can still win. Matt Murray's still out here. He has played very well in the late stages of the season. I'm surprised we didn't give the backup a few starts, you know, to save Matt Murray for the playoffs, but it is what it is. Johnny Gaudreau has just as bad of an attempt as I did. The only difference is he fell, and then Detroit scores. They win the game. We lose in a garbage shootout but we lose nonetheless yeah boy finishes the season with nine or er, 89 goals one shy of 90 three shy of the all-time record by Wayne Gretzky but we did we did pass Wayne Gretzky's second best season so that is nothing to laugh at man this 89 goal season man it's pretty much equivalent to the 81 point game by Kobe Bryant man it's not technically the highest goal scoring season of all time but with the era that we're in it's pretty fucking good and you could argue that it's the best uh season ever so your boy finishing with 134 points not even my personal best year for point scoring but 89 goals is by far my best season for that so that is incredible man that is awesome and 134 points that's only like six more than Kucherov had last year like you know it's it's still somewhat realistic so it's not like we're breaking the game out out here scoring 200 points you know that's just we're a very good goal scorer what can I say season has ended our playoff opponent will be the Carolina Hurricanes 
I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Carolina. But that's going to be for the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did enjoy it, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face. Spin the hell out of a comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys. And I am out this bitch. The GOAT is signing off. Peace.